This is Adam, your Omega Quest DM, and this is a video response to Rob Diggs Gaming. And uh, he was posting about some of his dragons that he had gotten from um, Michaels, I believe he said. And uh, so I'm doing a video request to a couple that I got and that I repainted. And in my realm, I use these as lawful good. I realize in the uh, DMG that uh, gold dragons are always neutral. But I need some dragons in various colors that will represent the good side. And in my world, we needed a few to represent a court of good dragons. And these two are the ambassadors to the court of good dragons. So we have a, a purple dragon and we have a gold dragon. And they are, again, the extra huge gargantuan scale. But you know what? Dragons should be huge. Dragons should be awesomely fearsome. And I don't have a problem with the scale on these dragons. I mean, when you take... Let me get a miniature down here. When you take a miniature and you put in front of that... That looks about right to fighting a dragon to me, and especially when you're going to put an entire party, you know, in there, uh, four or five people fighting. I think that looks about right. So I really, I really am not too upset about the scale. I think they look, I think they look good. Um, as far as you know, dragons like this, don't get hung up on. The color of what, you know, I mentioned in the beginning almost as an excuse. Well, that's what the DMG says. Don't be afraid to make something your own. You know, this game is about being inventive and having some ingenuity and making something your own. I mean, look at this guy here sitting in here guarding these ruins. Isn't that awesome? I think that's just awesome. Something else uh, I don't do on the extra large creatures, I don't put them on a base because there's really no reason to. They're going to stand up. They're not going to fall over. They're extremely stable. And as far as how much space do they take up, well, they take up that much space. So I don't, uh, I don't put any of the really big guys here on bases. And secondly, it makes them a little bit easier to store on the shelves. Now, I have lots of other dragons here. Let's look at a few of these others. And For example, here's one. This one is uh, also from, this is a Hydra. This is also from Michaels and uh, didn't do anything to this. This is straight off the shelf, ready to play. And I think that is just really awesome um, look up on miniatures and look at the price of the uh, hero slayer I think it's like 50 bucks or 40 bucks or something like that and like was being said you can get these for like 10 or 12 dollars and they're they're massive but they're awesome and they cover up, you know, they cover up a good portion of the table. So those, there's another one. Um, I've got several other dragons. Here's the Chimera here. This is also from Michaels, just straight off. I even left the tag thing on because I thought that looked pretty cool. One of these days I'm going to paint that gold or something. And I'm going to use that for like a chain to bind him with. But I thought that was pretty cool. Straight off the shelf, nothing redone to it. Just really cool, ready to go. Look at that serpent's tail. Is that not just totally cool? Now tell me that your party wouldn't fear coming into contact with that. Oh, yeah. So not your standard beast, I realize. But again, like we're talking about, a lot of fun. 
You can do a lot of different things uh, with them. Something else here that uh, since we're talking about strange miniatures and stuff, don't be afraid to step out into other minis from other games. For example, this is a Star Wars mini. But I just, you know, I saw it. I thought, man, that looks really cool. That would be a cool creature to encounter in some type of a cave somewhere. And for a couple bucks, I picked it up, and he just looks awesome. So, I mean, yeah, it's not a Wizards of the Coast official Dungeons & Dragons miniature. But you know what? When you put it on the table, guess what? All of your DM players who sit around and study the DMG and Munster Manual and have memorized every single stat for every creature existing known to man, they don't know what that is. And when you, you, you stat that out and give it its own stats, then they, oh, okay, they don't know uh, how to fight with that one. Okay, here's another one. This one is a Oriental, uh, one of your Oriental dragons. I use this as my standard world blue dragon simply because. Can you figure it out? Huh? Can you? Huh? Well, he's blue. Yeah, I didn't have to paint it. You say, well, that's not how he looks in the DMG. So what? I think he looks cool. As long as he looks cool to you and you put him on the table and you're running the stats for that guy, hey, he's your creature, man. Do with him whatever you want to. I think it looks pretty cool myself. Here's some others that are pretty awesome. Now these are from HeroScape. And uh, what's cool about these is these have the riders already built on them. HeroScape. You can actually get these pretty cheap. These are like $3.99. These are not very expensive. Under 5 bucks, And you can order these off of eBay. And uh, got the riders on them. These death dragons tell me this isn't great flying around over a necromancer's tower or uh preceding that big graveyard encounter best thing about those is they're affordable you can get a couple of those also the big mage knight dragon there uh here is a heroes uh, excuse me a michael's red dragon not the most impressive one, but decent, usable as a red dragon. Uh, here again, some more hero scapes. But what I did with these is, is I took some Mage Knight characters and glued those on and made these guys dragon riders. So those are some re just simple reworks by putting some riders on top. So I thought those were pretty cool. But uh, there's some of the stuff that I've gotten from Michaels. This is a video response to uh, Rob Loves Gaming. And uh, so I just thought I'd give a quick shout out to him. I've been enjoying his videos and catching up on some of the stuff that he's been doing. So I think it's time for the Viking Army to cross the road and attack the dragons. Let's roll some dice and see what happens. Ah!